Imagine waiting 25 years for your once in a lifetime hunt, and then you decide to donate it. Hi, I'm Adam Eagle from KSL Outdoors. That's exactly what we have for you here this morning. We're gonna introduce you to a man named Jeff Cross, who finally drew his desert sheep tag down here in Southern Utah when he felt the spirit to give it to somebody with special needs. Waylon, are you ready? Let's do this. I'm gonna have so much fun. You ready to find that sheep? Okay, I've been dreaming about the sheep all night long, so we're gonna have a fantastic time with all of these friends and family, and I'm so excited for you, Waylon. This is your Desert Bighorn Sheep Hunt. Meet Jeff Cross, an Orm hunter who is mentoring 13-year-old Waylon Long on his once-in-a-lifetime sheep hunt. We are set up. Jeff didn't know Waylon or his family. He just decided he wanted to share this experience with someone less fortunate. Yeah, so I drew it with uh, 24 points. And uh, it's just been a lifelong dream to take a desert bighorn sheep. And after we were down here scouting earlier last month, I just felt that this was a sheep for somebody else. And uh, we made contact with a couple individuals and following week we got to meet Waylon and his family down at his home and I just knew then that this was his sheep hunt. So we brought all of these great people together to help Waylon be successful. So glad to have you part of our team. Unbelievable that we could even do this and that he would sacrifice his 25 years of putting in for this thing for my little boy. It just it amazes me. Oh, oh you got, got him! You got, you got, him. got him, dude! Oh, we first introduced you to Waylon and his family a few years ago, when Waylon was a part of the King's Camel turkey hunt for kids <laughs> with special needs that we show you every spring. He's a hundred percent dependent on me and Danielle. He's got the Duchenne muscular dystrophy and tightening up all of his muscles, and I mean, it's, it's taking its course, but you know, when our time's up, our time's up, but we enjoy every minute of it. I don't really think he understands how much sacrifice this was for, for Jeff. I don't think any little kid would, but I, kept, I keep telling him, I'm like, bud, he's been putting in for more than your life. You tell everyone thank you for coming. I just said it. <laughs> you know what? Thank you thank for letting you. us come. Ah, yeah. Good opportunity. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks. Get her done. Jeff's dad and his daughter Ashlyn are along for the hunt, as are a bunch of guys from all over Utah who are here donating their time and resources to help Jeff and Waylon find a ram. We came out this exact route. One of the first canyons is I think where they're sending them down, it's called wire grass. Yeah. Um, we had quite a few uh, fresh sheep tracks that morning. So we, uh, we all gathered for a morning hunt that started at six o'clock. Waylon and his family were ready to go and uh, we spread out. Um, we had all of these individuals who wanted to be here and help Waylon uh, to have an amazing experience. And so we took different assignments, went down different canyons, different roads. Jeff's tag is good for the Kaparowitz East Unit, one of the top desert sheep units in the state. According to biologists, the East and West Kaparowitz units are doing really well. In 2019, they surveyed the units and counted 750 sheep. But the East unit is huge, and with Wayland's limitations, it's going to be a chore to find a ram close to the road. I mean, sheep live in what's called escape terrain. I mean, where they can get their incredible athletes, they can jump, you know, up rocks and ledges, and, and, they're, and they're tough to hunt. It's not an easy, and so, you know, with limitations, it was definitely going to be challenging. That's what you want to look for, and then if they start going out through the brush, then you just follow the tracks. Another one right there. We've got guys spread out across the unit. There are some huge canyons with very little access. So far, we've found just a few signs of sheep. It's going to be a challenge. But Wayland and his mom and dad are up to a challenge. This is a hunting family. They do whatever it takes to ensure that Wayland has every opportunity 
they don't let his disability hold him back. I just think we're an ordinary family trying to survive with somebody with a special need. That's what we're doing. That's all. We're, we're just trying to make him enjoy life and feel normal. Yeah. So I don't know why he picked us. I, I don't know. Maybe somebody else had a bigger plan than us. Well, we climbed up on this mesa, uh, kind of overlooking a big drainage. I think feeds into Last Chance. And uh, we have yet to see a sheep, but Mike and Don were down in another canyon and looks like they may have found a, found a ram not too far off the road. So we'll go see if we can get on him. Better buckle up, there we go. Pretty good little ram. He's not bad. Comes, he's really flared. Really? Let's get her done. A plan is made. The majority of the group will keep looking while Waylon, his family, and Jeff will head down into the canyon where the ram was spotted. And we started to just slowly come down the canyon and just look the best that we could. Uh, these sheep are hard to see in these rocks. They blend in and so um, we came around the corner and long behold there was a little lamb just staring at us in the shade. And so we stopped and just waited and then another lamb and another ewe came around the corner and we just figured there's got to be a ram and so we stayed put. Wayne was like, there he is, there he is. I'm like, well, that one's not quite it yet, Waylon, and we'll just keep watching. And so we, we just kept waiting and waiting, got Jeff to come up there with us, and so we could get him positioned, and we seen the three of them, and then finally. Here's a good one, here's a good one. To the left. We seen the ram. After that, he was just shaking, so excited. And But he was a head on, and so we had to move, come down and around. We had Jeff walk along the side of the side by side and get it where he could get a broadside shot. And you know, he was patient. He was, he had ram fever, started shaking and. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait till it, there's nothing behind him. Okay, and you have a clear shot. It's just way shoulder. Okay, get it right on him. to see a smile that I've never seen on that young boy's face. Um, it was like Christmas morning. And so uh, shortly thereafter, he says, Jeff, I want to give you a hug. And that's what this relationship has been. That's what this friendship has been, is just love and goodness and kindness. And now he'll be my friend forever. Jeff has gone down the road and found the ram, down for good, in the rocks. Good job, dude. Yeah. You did it, Waylon. There's a sheep up there in the rocks with your name. Yeah. You got him. Awesome. You have a bighorn desert sheep. 
I've been more blessed, I think, than even Waylon and his family, but yet they feel that they've been blessed by this experience. So I hope that others will see the opportunity to, to bring happiness um, and to take opportunities to do things for other people. That's, that's really my hope. Look at that, Waylon, you got it. You got it. You got it, dude. He's quite an awesome guy. And what I really liked about him, he wanted to know Waylon. Good job. Get to know us as a family and enjoy this moment with our family and his family. Good job, Waylon. Coming to you. This is the most amazing thing and selfless act I've ever seen anybody do. <laughs> to be able to take my boy, you know. This is my dream as well as his, sharing it with the younger ones, teaching them generation to generation to, you know, preserve it make it last, teach the next generation, and just keep it going. We have the greatest hunting party here. I appreciate everybody helping Waylon take this Desert Bighorn sheep today. We love him, he's part of all of our families, so you have a big family today, Waylon, so we love you, we're so proud of you. Yeah, great family, couple great families here. I mean, one, to donate a tag, Two, just a good outdoors family that's doing everything they can to uh, make sure their son enjoys the outdoors. And I don't know what else can you do. What rather do is just try and do your best, and that's what these, that's what the the families are doing. So appreciate everybody that came out and uh, allowing us to come with you. That's a pretty special moment, and uh, we hope you at home kind of do the same. You know, make sure you make some memories outdoors with your family and friends, even if it's a new family you've just met. I'm Adam Eco, KSL Outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night. All right, wait, wait.